right, welcome you guys. I'm so sorry that the Facebook Live wasn't working right and stuff. Um, we don't have internet out here yet, and we're still kind of working on the electrical, getting the finishing touches in. So I will hurry up and record this and post it. Um, so I will just give you guys a little mini tour. So these are the three tiered kennels we're doing. So that way the cats have not only the bottom where I keep their litter box. These ones don't have um, ones in them yet, so I thought it would be a good example. And then they have one bed, two bed, and then a little hammock thing. And I put lots of um, toys, food, treats in there too. So this area is not organized yet. We are getting cabinetry and we're trying to get, like, basically animal stuff comes first. It's going to have to be a little unorganized in here for a while. Um, we had somebody donate a bunch of dog toys, so I picked up a basket at Menards, spray painted it, and then our new toy bucket. Um, cat litter, garbage can obviously for obvious reasons, and then we had tons and tons of cat litter donated, so I appreciate you guys. We are feeling awesome about cat litter. So, here is, I will just grab them out. This cat we just got, I think I've talked to some of you guys about how we were helping out um, a farm community, span neuter all their cats, and then we were taking their kittens and adopting them out. This here, they named him Thomas. Thomas is actually getting fixed on Wednesday and adopted, so we know his adoptive home, so therefore we're going to just pick him up for his distemper um, follow-up shot in three weeks, so, and they're right by where our bed is and stuff, so it works out perfect. This is him. He's super sweet. Um... Yeah, can you say hi, hon? Say hi. So yes, thank you guys. He's very, very, very sweet. Very nice cat. He has three other siblings too that they are going to try and get off the farm for me. Yeah, these are kennels are pretty awesome too because they have three doors. And then it's a little latch one, so literally the pin just pulls up like this and it opens, so it's easy to get at them and stuff. All right, then if we go here, we have the next three, and all the kennels are set up the same, so I'm not going to waste your guys' time and show you every single one. <laughs> oh, hi. Um, these ones are someone um, brought to us local, kind of near um, Rindall. If you guys know where Rindall is, those of you who aren't local here, you won't know that, where that is. It's super, super random, super tiny. So I will just pull out one at a time. These three are siblings, and then the people, there was originally... Um, five but one of them didn't make it and then the people decided to keep one but we're still helping them um spay that one so here's the female notice here how not everyone's named so i'll announce that at the end and stuff because i need you guys' help with everything um so this is a female she'll be available for adoption in three weeks and then these ones i'll let you guys name these ones too but i jokingly call them um mj and um PJ, Michael and Toby Jr. So this is a little boy. Can you say hi? He'll be available here in three weeks too. All these guys will be available in three weeks. I know, you guys are so snuggly. These are literally the nicest cats in the world. They're very per, like they purr 24 seven. I will say they are a little bit territorial about their food. So whoever adopts them is gonna have to feed them separately. And this is who I call MT. Those of you guys that follow my social media and stuff, you'll notice that I um, call him M. Like, Toby, you met Michael and Toby, I believe, and stuff. They look exactly like them. Like, seriously, their faces, their eyes. Exactly. So all three of these ones are going into foster care. My mom is fostering the female. And then our really awesome friends are fostering both males. Unless they get adopted before that, they're fostering them starting um, when they're available for adoption. So in three weeks. And then here we have Trudy. So Trudy is one of the adult farm cats that we're staying. Can you say hi, Trudy? She's seriously the nicest cat in the world. She will not be available for adoption. They are just um, having us spay her and everything. Trudy has four baby kittens. So I will show you them one at a time because they are so cute. So here's one, <laughs> and then they have this really pretty like brindle stripes. These guys are about two, two and a half weeks old. Lillian's in here too and she's a little cranky, I'm not going to lie you guys. So yeah, very, very cute. Just be careful. 
Sorry. These cats were, some of them were outside, so I let, I had let Mama Trudy out. Here, I'll show you. I let Trudy out, um, so she can get away from the kittens for a little bit, too, sometimes. So there's one. This one, I checked, and it's female. Yeah. Hi, guys. And then, here's number two. Say hi. Pretty blue eyes. This one is male, so. Here's another one. She has the cutest kittens in the whole world. This one is female again. And then this little cutie. Look at, aw. You guys are more than welcome to come out and see these guys anytime. She's also a female. You guys can come see these little cuties in the meantime. I would ask you to give us about a week to get everything situated. Um, the floors aren't like clean. We have the flooring installed, but just from us bringing equipment and from doing the electrical and stuff, the floors aren't as clean as I'd like them to be. Oh no, the kittens are escaping. Have to be careful with baby kittens because I have my shoes on. Um, yeah, and then. We give Trudy all the special attention. This down here, let me just take my phone off of this. I'm on like a tripod right now. I'll take my phone off this real quick. Thank you guys for your patience. This here is Pepper. Hi, Pepper. She's super nice too. Oh, I don't know. I'll turn it around. Here's Pepper. Oh, Trudy. It's okay, hon. Pepper, let's go back in. Don't mind me, you guys. I'm so sorry. I'll get it back on. So Pepper is another cat that we are spaying from that farm. And then um, we are just getting her fixed and everything. This here is Thelma. Thelma's a little spicy, so I'm not going to open the kennel and aggravate her. Um, Thelma is also one that's getting spayed and neutered. You guys, those three baby kittens fight so cutely. Like, they're, like, sound like they're mean, but they're actually just play fighting. Um, so, yeah. So, basically, these three will not be avail available for adoption. We're holding on to um, Trudy until her kittens are big enough to be weaned off and stuff. We're spaying all three of these. We're turning them back. So, as far as ones that are going to be available for adoption, we will have these three. Right? And then obviously, you know, Thomas um, is adopted and stuff. I don't know what his new name is yet, so I'm just going to use that for now. We have the four baby kittens here. So those four, those three, we'll have seven. And then we are taking in um, a dog tomorrow. He is a Sharpe yellow. Let me flip this camera back around so I can talk to you guys a little bit. He, yes, so he's a, he looks more like a yellow lab and stuff. And then I'll do. A video with him tomorrow or Wednesday depending on his I try to give them a day or two um, on their anxiousness and stuff so they can be settled a little bit and then we are helping out um the Crookston Humane Society it's called Scruffy Tails those of you who don't know what the new name is I'll get everything screwed in here um we are helping them out and they're helping us out get in um a what did I do with this here I may have messed up Jordan's tripod nobody tell him okay Oh, there we go. Um, we're taking in one of their kittens. Um, it, I'm told it's a Siamese mix. I don't know what it looks like yet and stuff. She'll be a female and she'll be available for adoption in three weeks. And then, um, yeah, and then we'll have, uh, there. We'll, we're also taking in a black male cat from them. He'll be available. I'm not sure the date and stuff then. Guys, this is super creepy, but Jordan's watching me through the window. I can see it all dark and stuff, but it's very, like... Michael Myers style. I don't have blinds on here yet. So now that I kind of have the animals explained and stuff, I'm going to kind of give you guys a tour and tell you what we're planning for everything. So if the sh I'm going to try and make this camera as unshaky as possible. Um, so we have to install, don't, don't judge my mess, please. I, it's, we, I really do take the animal care first. I think you guys are playing a little too hard. Little MT and MJ. Look at that, or MTM. Oh, you're so cute. I can't help it. Okay, sorry. Oh, my brain, you guys. This has been 
Oh, busy couple of days. So we installed for now the AC unit here so the extension cord could reach. Um, Jordan's still working on the electrical, so that's what all this stuff is. We are putting the AC unit up here, so it's all a heater here. We didn't need the heater yet, so I was trying to prioritize um, finances and stuff. Jordan's finishing the electrical. And again, that's kind of what all of this stuff is. Um, and then I have to put together two more kennels. I literally appreciate you guys so much. I only myself had to purchase two ken kennels, like two of the big white ones, and they really improve the quality of life for these animals rather than being in the small ones. I don't feel so bad for these two girls because they're only here with me um, for a week and stuff. So I didn't feel too bad for them and they're just one in there, but it really improves the quality of life for like the kittens and stuff too, to be able to play and climb. So I really appreciate you guys. Um, I have to put together one more still, two more, that's right. So I only had to purchase um, two and then we had somebody donate Four. And I just want to tell you guys that I was literally crying because it was a huge financial weight lifted off of my shoulders. And just so you guys know, with your donations and finances and stuff, I take, like, I only, like, this entire rescue in this building, we spent our, me and Jordan spent our own money on because I really wanted your guys' donations to go directly to the animals. So as far as, like, besides the direct donations of the kennels, I purchased the kennels myself. The only um, thing that you guys have paid for for donations and stuff, and it's been a huge helpful like thank you, is like cat food, cat toys, cat treats and stuff, um, and litter and all that kind of stuff. Like all the and bowls and litter boxes, like all the stuff that's like the you know the stuff. And then like obviously their vet care too is super important to me, and I just really really appreciate you guys. Um, and I just want to say thank you. So I will go ahead and explain to, so basically it's, it's a little like, hard to explain. So then you go to the front. So when you walk in straight from the front door, I'll do two, you walk in, this is straight from the front door. So when you turn here, there's two windows. I'm planning on putting one kennel here, one kennel here, right? So they can have the window space. Back in this corner, I just put the kennel in there for now, but I would like to have a desk for myself with a filing cabinet. I painted the filing cabinet that was donated to us, so I could not put it in here today. I do not want that stuff there. So my goal is to only have that silver thing there and um, the garbage. So we have one, two, three tall kennels here. Um, my goal is to put these on this wall, right? Then I have to figure out how I can stack these because I think as long as I twist time together and they're like secured, I'm legally allowed to, which would save us a lot of floor space. You guys look at how awesome Trudy is. I think she just needed a break from those kittens. They're kind of demanding, I'm not gonna lie. Um, yes, so I'm gonna move them over here and then um, basically the space on top between the kennels and the ceiling, we wanna utilize that space as much as possible. So we're going to just go to Menards and buy the pre-cut cabinetry um, and just connect all the cabinets, but that will be on this wall right here, and then I'll just use a step stool. So all of that stuff you see up there besides the LED shop light, Jordan's going to install those, so imagine those aren't there. All of this stuff is going to get put um, uh, into cabinets and stuff. And then if you look, those are the two food buckets, so we have... Um, kitten food, adult cat food, that purple box right there, I'm storing all of our odds and ends stuff like ear mite medicine, um, dewormer, like extra toys for cats and stuff, all that kind of stuff. I want all that stuff put in cabinets too. So I really want to make um, as much playroom as possible so we can have people in here as much as possible too. Yeah. So that's a goal of mine. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I need to cover. I'm going to put Trudy back in here because those babies... Honey, I'm sorry, but your babies look very hungry, so you're probably just going to have to go back in for now. I know, I know, they're demanding it, but it's okay. All right, okay, so, yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking. I want to, and we plan on letting cats out and kittens out once everybody's um, fixed and up to date on vaccinations and stuff. We consider ourselves cage-free at that point. We are also um, 
Yeah, so we'll have the dog, but we're taking the dog into our house so I can work with him one-on-one -on -one and stuff. So um, he has some stuff going on. I'm not exactly sure what it is. You can see. Again, I am i don't know exactly what um, she's planning on naming him, but he's literally like the nicest kitten in the whole world right here. Very, very sweet. Um, yeah. Otherwise, I will do another video tomorrow so that way you guys are able to um, kind of, you know, see and check out the new ones we're getting it and stuff. There will be, yes, two more. And then if I am MIA Wednesday, um, we are taking in these three guys to get fixed, this guy, um, these two girls to get fixed. I am also taking in um, two that I'm taking in from the Humane Society. I'm taking in um, our two daycare ladies' kittens. And I'm taking in um, somebody that I'm just helping out and stuff to get their animal um, neutered and stuff. So it'll be a hectic day. So. I'm sorry this video was so long. I really love that you guys were here for this tour. I will do another video once everything's updated and stuff. I just know a lot of you guys were excited. And I wanted you to see what your donations went to. And how much you guys helped us and stuff. So I appreciate anything you guys are able to do um, as far as donations. And I just appreciate your likes and shares, your support and everything like that. Um, I had somebody did ask if I would include in this video. I don't want you guys to think I'm pressuring you or something. About things we were low on for our wish list. We are 100% definitely going to, I can already tell because we're taking in so many kittens. We're going to need um, canned kitten food and um, dry kitten food. Both are on our um, Amazon wish list. I can put it in the description here. Yeah, it's um, those are the two things for sure. And then I'm trying to think of anything else. Um, it would be nice if we could get um, some more of these like silver bowls because we're gonna start running low and stuff. So that would be um awesome. What else? I don't think so. I don't think there's anything else. You guys have been so awesome for all, like, seriously, you guys have been absolutely amazing and I very much appreciate it. Um, I could not ask for a better support system and stuff. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. Um, what else, what else, what else? I think there was one more thing I was going to say. If I remember it, I will put it in the description. Yeah, I just want to say thank you guys. Oh my gosh. Also, I don't know who because I'm not allowed to see who donates stuff and stuff as far as when you guys send it because I think a lot of people put, oh my gosh, that was really close. A lot of people put it, but somebody donated a bunch of these metal litter scoopers and I was just going to buy a bunch of the cheap plastic ones because it wasn't in our budget. But the metal ones are literally life changing. So whoever did that, if you're watching this video, we love you. We appreciate you. You made my life 10 times easier. Thank you. Um, have a good rest of your night, you guys.